recycling just means um, saving materials to be repurposed rather than putting them in a landfill or sending them to an incinerator. For some of these materials, the main focus is on keeping them out of the landfill, for example, plastic bottles. Um, but for other materials, there are major um, energy or ecosystem benefits to being able to use recycled materials as opposed to brand new materials. So for uh, paper, for example, if we use recycled paper, we don't have to cut down as many trees to make new paper. Um, and the biggest one is metals, like aluminum, like in a soda can. Um, it turns out it takes a ton of energy to make a soda can. Not recycling a soda can is like leaving your TV on for nine hours. So uh, one big benefit is energy savings, which helps reduce global warming. Sustainability. I mean, there's, I don't know if you've heard from like the North Pacific gyre, and there's other gyres around the world, but they, it's like the current of the ocean just collects the trash and it creates just piles of trash in the ocean. Hawaii has, if you Google plastic beach, Hawaii, it's just a beach that the, the way the current is, it catches, it's just like, it's like a net that catches all plastic bottles, anything like that, bags, tons of that. And there's islands all around the world that are like that. People talk a lot about the problems of landfills and incinerators, um, which is where our trash goes if we don't recycle it. And there, there are some major problems. Landfills can leach chemicals into the groundwater. Um, incinerators tend to release toxic chemicals into the air. Um, and then people who live nearby breathe those chemicals. Um, and that's a major environmental justice issue. And so, you know, everybody's trash is harming certain uh, people. I also think it's important to think about not only keeping our trash from going into a landfill or an incinerator, but um, not needing to produce those resources to begin with. So saving energy by recycling metal, saving trees by recycling paper. Um, so there are benefits at sort of the front end and the back end to recycling. Recognizing the positive impact that recycling has, Cabrini is sparking a change through new initiatives that are inspiring action and creating awareness. Uh, the Green Team started at Cabrini as a, an effort to get students, faculty, and staff together talking about environmental issues on campus. The Green Team has become a student organization on campus and they still have that same mission of pursuing environmental issues uh, as they relate to Cabrini and now with a special focus on student activities and student interests in those things. Um, when I came to Cabrini, I was really big into recycling and knowing that we have a green team that enforces that and um, engages students in that practice makes me really happy. So it means a lot to me. It's kind of an educational thing as well as like um, a group who it's trying to like push sustainability on the campus. There is a bit of a problem with perception. I know that a lot of students at Cabrini College think that we don't recycle. And I think one of the reasons for that is because the housekeeping staff, if they see that a recycling bin has been contaminated with food, for example, they can't put that in with the rest of the recycling. They'll put it actually into the trash. And so sometimes students see that and they think, well, all the recycling is just going into the trash. But that should, if everything's working perfectly, only happen if it gets contaminated. So it's up to us, the, the users, to make sure that we're not, that we're paying attention, right? That we're putting the recyclables in the blue bins and putting food waste and other garbage um, in the black bins. It's this vicious cycle where if people don't think recycling is happening, they don't recycle. And because they don't recycle, contamination goes into the bins and then that thing can't be recycled, and then it repeats the process. In my apartment, I have um, a couple of blue bins, and my roommates and I constantly are putting recyclables in there. And, you know, once it's filled, we put it into a recycling bin outside of the apartments. Um, I also noticed that there are blue bins around campus and classrooms and bathrooms um, for students to recycle. Um, so I think that definitely helps the practice as well. A lot of communities, including Cabrini College, have gone to a single stream style of recycling, which some of us aren't familiar with. We grew up in um, households where you had to separate the paper from the bottles, from the cans, um, and in most many places, including Cabrini, that's not true anymore. All the recyclables go in together and they get sent to basically a sorting plant. You know, a big magnet pulls out the iron, um, workers sort the paper from the bottles and cans, 
And so sometimes people will see a recycling bin that has, you know, a plastic bottle and a glass bottle and a soda can and some notebook paper and think, oh, that, that can't be right. They're not sorting. But actually, that's correct. Right now we're pushing for clean energy. We're trying to get the school to switch to a clean energy source. As well as I think I really want to focus on campus beautification. So like going around and cleaning up the garbage and, and even like the natural litter too, like tree branches that have fallen and like putting in gardens and flowers, things like that. Trying to really like make the campus just a little bit more appealing. Well I think that everything colleges do is magnified by the fact that we're teaching the next generation and those behaviors are really in some cases getting set for life. So I think that as you all become adults and go off into the world, your experience with recycling here at Cabrini College is something that you're going to take with you. So it's not just four years worth of recycling, right? If we can teach people good recycling habits, it's a whole lifetime of recycling. They're shaping the future of the United States we're going, people come here for higher education and I think learning about sustainability and maintaining the planet is something that's really important, especially for higher education. So I think that if students are practicing um, greener recycling initiatives on campus, I think they can take it with them after school. Um, I think if someone sees someone else doing it or groups of people doing it, they'll feel more inclined to do it as well.